Hey guys, it is Alpha here and welcome back to another tech tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at how to disable the Windows key via the registry editor. And with the introductions out of the way, let's just jump straight into the video. Alright, so the very first thing you guys are going to want to do is you can actually go down to your start menu and you can type in registry editor. I've, all, all I've typed in there is REG and it's already brought it up. So you can click enter and we got our editor just here. So before we go any further on this one, the very first thing we want to do is we're going to go up here to file and we want to go to export. So when we do this we're just creating a backup, right? A backup of the registry file so if something does happen to go wrong you guys will have a backup for it which you can restore. Alright, so what we're going to do is just going to call this backup and 001. Alright, so this folder here is just right here, it's on my desktop. Alright, so I just created that before I started making the video to make it nice and easy, so we'll just do that. Bang, drop that in there. Sure enough, when we open that up, there she is. Alright, so that's the first thing out of the road. So next thing we want to do is we want to start navigating to where we need the new binary file. All right. So first thing you want to do is you want to jump in here. You want to find this folder that is H key local machine. So when we click on that and expand it, we then want to find the folder called system, which is just down here at the bottom. So when we expand that one, you'll want to find your next one, which is the current control set folder. So it should be the third one down, and we want to expand that one. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to locate the one that says Control, which is the very first one here. So we want to expand that. So you should have a string that looks like this. So Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Control, and then we should have all these folders down here. So the next thing you want to do is you need to locate the one that's called Keyboard Layout. Alright, so we're just going to scroll down until we find a letter K, there it is. So keyboard layout. Now you do have two here, so make sure you don't click on the wrong one. So you got keyboard layout, sir, which is plural with the S, but the one you want is the singular. So this fella right here. So next step to this is you want to come across to the blank side. You want to right click on that one, go new, and go to binary value. Alright, so now we can actually name this one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to call this one scan code and then map with a capital M. All right, so scan code map. All right, so now with that done, this is where we need to manually enter the binary code. So when we double click on this, you'll have a box that appears on your screen that says edit binary value. And this is where we want to start typing. All right, so I will leave a... Um, I will leave a, a link to uh, an image down in the video description so you guys will be able to see exactly what this looks like and I'll also leave the actual binary value as well uh, but bear in mind you cannot copy and paste you need to type it in manually but it will be provided for you regardless. So once you've got that it looks kind of like what I have here or it should look exactly like what I have here all you want to do is just want to click OK and then we have our new binary file. So all you want to do now is just want to close your registry editor and you want to restart your PC and upon restarting it your Windows key will be disabled. So if you want to re-enable it however all you have to do is go back in find the registry editor alright so when I've opened this back up it's actually put me back to the exact location I left off at which is in the keyboard layout folder that one there and we can just go through and just go back, hit delete, it'll prompt us and go, are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, I'm sure I want to delete it. Restart your PC and you're good to go again. Alright guys, well uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like it, hit subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them down in the, in the comment section below. I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.